Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you how to look inside a binary file just using the command from the Unix command line. So I've got a file here called input.txt and you can see what's inside it. It looks just like a, a normal file. There's a bit of a clue there in the, the text I've put in there. But it just looks like a normal file. So here I've just got a bit of command line awk which is just going to print out the records in the file. If you're familiar with awk it just prints out each record. So there you go. Looks great. So let's say I've decided to use awk to make the file look a bit more pretty when it gets printed out. So I'm going to put a greater than on the left hand side down here and a less than on the right hand side. Let's run that. And look, it hasn't come out how I expected. In fact something very strange has happened because the less than, which should be down the right hand side, has come out on the left hand side and it seems to have overwritten the greater than. So what's happened there? Something odd. So this is where you can use this command from the Unix command line, the OD command. So if I just run it like that, OD and in the file name, okay, you're not seeing much. You're not seeing the characters, but you're seeing something different happening there, but there's not enough information there. So let's add a couple of uh, switches to it. So I'm going to put CX. Now what you're seeing now, the, the C means characters really, so you can actually see the text that you were seeing before. There it is, this is a file, etc. And underneath that's the same thing in hexadecimal. So what we're looking for here is the unusual characters. Obviously, so 68 is the hexadecimal for the uppercase T there. So that all looks okay up to there. So you've just got the, the characters above, in the ASCII characters and the hexadecimal underneath. Then we get down to here. And now, if you know Unix well, then you'll know that that, that, let, that slash backslash N is a line feed. But you can see just before it, there's a backslash R now that backslash R is a character term which you don't normally have in, in Unix files. So you can see that that's actually what the problem is. Because this file has come from Windows which has a carriage return and a line feed, it's still got the carriage return inside it and we've got it there at the end of that line and there at the end of the final line. And actually that carriage return, if you look at what happened there, we're getting to the end of the line and then the cursor in effect is being thrown right back to the start of the line before it prints the final less than symbol. So that's the cause of the problem, that carriage return. So the question is, how do we, now we've spotted what the problem is, how do we get rid of it? There are a number of ways you can do this with Unix, but the one that I like to use is this TR command, simply because that will work on all different platforms, all different flavours of Unix, whereas some of the other things like said won't necessarily work on older Unix systems. And I have to, in my job I have to work on all sorts of different Unix systems, so I need something that's reliable all across the board. So what this is doing is it's feeding the input.txt into this tr command and this, this minus d is delete so it's telling it to delete the carriage return characters there so if I run that okay doesn't look much different at the moment so let's feed it into the awk command and see what happens okay so there it is with the uh, with the awk tacked on the end so let's run that and hey look it's doing exactly what it should do fantastic so what we can do is just to just to show what's happened there so if I just instead of piping it into awk I'll pipe it back into the od command with the CX on there. And so if you go through now you can see that the, uh, the carriage return has gone so we've only got the line feed. So that's that's the way to do it basically. So use OD to have a look inside binary binary files and obviously if it is just a carriage return then you can get rid of it there. You can put anything in here but that's that's an easy one to get rid of. But the OD is the, is the secret weapon that you've got to use to look inside binary files. One thing to look out for is if the file, and this is just quite a small file, if the file is any bigger than that, you will have to uh, pipe the output into more or less or something because, it, as you can see, it spreads out the data quite a lot. There you go. I hope that's useful. See you next time.